An island at the center of the Mediterranean, rich in history and heritage, and with a population of just over half a million. Some of you might have heard or even traveled to Malta for its stunning beaches and island life, but we're sure many of you may now recognize Malta from one of this summer's biggest movies, the latest entry in the Jurassic franchise, Jurassic World Dominion. The production traveled to numerous locations around the world for filming, and one of the iconic locations featured in the movie is this beautiful island, which featured as a black market of dinosaurs, and included one of the most thrilling action sequences in the entire film, the fan-favorite Owen Grady bike chase from the vicious Atrociraptors. Malta had been serving as a stand-in for other countries in numerous Hollywood movies through the years, such as Gladiator, Troy, Assassin's Creed, and World War Z, but this is actually the first time that Malta was featured as Malta itself in the script of such a major production. Both of us are actually Maltese, so we figured we'd take you on a little tour around all the iconic locations from Dominion's Malta sequence, which we're sure you're about to recognize. Now it's been a couple of months since Dominion was released, so most of you may already have watched the movie by now, but we still feel we should warn you that there might be some spoilers roaming around in this video. In search of Maisie, our heroes Owen Grady and Claire Deering travel to the island of Malta, where a black market of dinosaurs is being held, and the deal between villains Rain Delacorte and Sayona Santos is about to go down, with plenty of chaos on the side. One of the opening scenes from the Malta sequence starts with a drone shot from the Grand Harbor, overseeing Valletta, which is the capital city of Malta, and where most of the action in this part of the movie takes place. The Grand Harbor serves as the island's port and is one of Malta's most stunning locations that is commonly chosen to be featured in major movie productions. After Owen and Claire meet Barry and they go through the underground market, Grady and Barry search for Delacorte from a rooftop, a scene which was filmed from this particular spot, which is found right next to a church in Valletta called Talis. With his binoculars, Owen manages to spot Delacorte entering the scene, where he climbs these exact steps after arriving by sea. And while this part of the road only has parked cars or pedestrians walking by, a restaurant by the sea was specifically set up by the production for Delacorte's arrival. We actually managed to capture some exclusive behind-the-scenes footage of the double for the villainous Rain Delacorte as he heads to the underground black market to meet Santos. Watch out for more exclusive behind-the-scenes footage later on in this video. Moving on, from here you can also see the rooftops which Owen and Barry are seen running on, with Valletta's famous Victoria Gate in the background, which will also make an appearance later on. The sequence then takes us back to the black market, where Owen and Claire had previously visited in an earlier scene. The underground market is where all the chaos begins, but where is this place actually located in Malta? Something which not many people may know is that due to the rising cases of COVID-19 at the time, the actors never really made it to Malta and the production only sent in their second unit to film on the island. The cast was actually filming at Pinewood Studios in London, with the actors' doubles filming here on the island. This news wasn't really out there and was something we, the Maltese locals, were of course aware of. So whenever you see any of the main actors in close-up shots, those weren't really filmed in Malta, and the entire underground market is one of them. Having said that, it's truly impressive how much of a great job everyone did in making the entire Malta sequence super realistic, in terms of making the actors seem like they're actually here, especially when it comes to the impressive stunt work. Let's not forget that Jurassic World Dominion is the first ever Hollywood movie to continue its production during those difficult times of the pandemic. Once the chaos starts, the truck holding the Atrociraptors drives out of the underground market from this tunnel, just beneath Fort Lascaris. The tunnel was actually made to appear as if it truly leads to an underground location, but in reality, it just leads to another road, as you can see with these cars passing by. 
Here we have another behind the scenes shot we took, this time of the truck, right next to this very tunnel. We then have Claire chasing Santos and instead ends up with an Atrociraptor chasing her. Claire's chase starts on the roof of the 17th century built St. Lawrence Church in Vittoriosa, also known as Birgu. Escaping the Atrociraptor, she then jumps onto another rooftop. From here to here from where she ultimately ends up in a van, along with Kayla Watts, and the chase then takes off in the streets of Valletta. The first street which Kayla and Claire pass through in Valletta is called St. Christopher's Street, and this is this street right here. This actually won't be the only time we'll be seeing this street, as we will get to see this road from another perspective, as Owen also drives through it with his bike, but we'll talk about that very soon. Speaking of bikes, we actually managed to grab a close behind the scenes picture of Owen's motorcycle, which upon closer inspection appears to be the Honda Montesa for a ride model. Now this place is where Owen exits the underground market on his bike, in St. Paul's Street. What's most interesting about this is that Owen seems to be driving out of what appears to be a tunnel that leads to the underground market, when in reality, it actually leads to an alley with no tunnels whatsoever with this particular architecture being added in post-production to make it seem as if Owen's driving out of the underground market from here. From this place, Owen jumps with his bike and drives right into Old Hospital Street as he is chased by the two Atrociraptors. The scene then takes us to this road right here, Republic Street, which fans may remember from one of the first shots we've seen of the bike chase in the first Jurassic World Dominion trailer, a one-way street in which Grady drives against traffic. Switching between protagonists, we then see Claire and Kayla passing from St. Nicholas Street, with the rear view showing this particular view, which can be distinguished with the sea view from afar. They then cross Merchant Street and drive through a scaffolding that was once placed in this exact area, once again in St. Nicholas Street. From Kayla's rear view, we can then see the same St. Paul Street, which Owen started his chase from, and which can be easily distinguished from this green door and window. Kayla and Claire now pass through this large 19th century limestone gate, which is known as the Victoria Gate, and which serves as the main entrance into the city from the Grand Harbour. As you can see, this is the exact location which the van passes from, once going through the gate. This part of the wall which the van hits was actually built for the movie and can be seen by another photo of the road we took in the summer of 2020. Here we can also see Bryce's double, also during filming. Looking at the area above, Claire sees Owen crossing a bridge, with the Atrociraptors right on his tail. That bridge is this one right here, which can be found in East Street, and as can be seen by this movie trail sign, this area was featured in a number of Hollywood movies, such as Steven Spielberg's Munich, Lee Tamahori's The Devil's Double, and Michael Bay's 13 Hours The Secret Soldiers of Benghazi, among others. The chase then takes us to the legendary Straight Street, which is also known as Strada Stretta in Maltese, a popular entertainment area in Valletta and one of the most famous streets in all of Malta, with a fascinating history dating all the way back to the 19th century, a street which is generally always vibrant, hosting numerous bars and restaurants, and this time, entertainment is taken to a whole new level, as Owen and the Atrociraptors pass by. The chase continues right here, in St. Ursula Street, where Owen crosses the road in between cars and one of the Atrociraptors gets hit by one of them. The street from where the cars are crossing is actually St. Christopher Street, which we previously mentioned that we'll be visiting again from another perspective, following the opening moments of Claire and Kayla's chase. Further into St. Ursula Street, this is the exact spot where the Atrociraptor gets back on its feet after it's been hit by the Range Rover. Quickly going up these steps, the other Atrociraptor runs on the edge of the passageway and jumps towards Owen from right here, from this exact spot. A scene which quickly became iconic following its appearance in the first trailer for Jurassic World Dominion. 
Speaking of which, while shooting this location for this video, we also happened to come across a lovely family who are on holiday here in Malta, specifically to visit the locations featured in the movie. This really shows what an impact the Jurassic franchise has on its fans. Kudos to the Malta Film Commission for attracting such big productions to our lovely country. Moving on, as the jumping Atrociraptor misses Owen and hits a car blocking the road, Owen then enters the stairwell right here, where he continues to be chased by the other Atrociraptor. As many of you may have noticed, this is the same place from the very first image revealed, even before the first trailer of this pulse-pounding bike chase. Shifting back to Claire and Kayla, we're back further down on St. Ursula Street, right before Claire knocks down the Atrociraptor chasing them. Wonder what happens to this guy. Next up in the same street, we get a closer shot of Owen's bike followed by the other two Atrociraptors. We try to recreate this shot from the very same place, and interestingly enough, we noticed that this shot was actually flipped, as you can see here. For us personally, this is one of our favorite shots from the chase. And now, onto what is probably the most iconic location of the movie, the picturesque St. George's Square. This is one of the most commonly visited squares in Malta, which is found right in front of the President's Palace, in the heart of Valletta. Besides being a touristic attraction, this square regularly hosts a variety of events, such as cultural, political, as well as the welcoming of the Pope in Malta, hosting hundreds of people. But it definitely never looked this chaotic, that's for sure. As Owen continues to escape the Atrociraptors, he drives through this part of the square, which in the movie is filled with tables, chairs and umbrellas, ultimately slowing the Atrociraptors down, making way for Owen's escape. Owen's final scene in Valletta is him driving through the same Victoria Gate we previously talked about, which is meant to portray that he is out of the city and is now heading to the location of Kayla's plane. Here is another behind the scenes shot we managed to capture, this time of Chris Pratt's stuntman driving out of the gate, where every actor had to imagine the vicious Atrociraptors right in front of them. Ali coming down slowly, he's been crawling down for the dino reference, but on the swing arm on the bike. And everyone seems to have done a great job at making it look convincing. Movie magic right there, ladies and gents. If you'd like to see more exclusive behind the scenes footage, including deleted scenes, make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. The final scene in Malta was filmed here in Pembroke, in an open coastal area near the Madalena Tower, where Owen manages to get on the plane with Claire and Kayla, escaping the Atrociraptors once and for all. We can also spot the Madalena Watchtower here, which can be seen in the background, as Owen makes his way towards the plane. And that wraps up the Malta sequence. We hope you enjoyed this tour with us, and that it was hopefully interesting enough that it'll make you book your next holiday to Malta. Speaking of traveling here, if you happen to come by before the end of summer, you'll be able to see these awesomely detailed statues produced by Universal Studios themselves. These will be for display across localities in Malta, including this amazing blue statue in St. George's Square in Valletta, and Baby Bita in Vittoriosa. Meanwhile, if you like this video and enjoy all things cinema and gaming, hit that like button and make sure to subscribe to this channel. We'll make sure to return the favor with content you won't find anywhere else. Till the next one, guys. Thank you all for watching. Python and Silken, out.